All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back into another video. Today's video is a special one because I believe to have figured out what's going to happen, and it's not just me. A bunch of people actually have this theory already, for what I can see. But now I have all the evidences there to present it to you. And I want to know what you think in the end of the video. Go down in the comments down below and tell me if you think I'm right, if I'm wrong, or just tell me what your theory is, okay? Let's get into it straight away. So a couple of days ago on day 24, we're at 31, so almost a week has passed. They posted this. This is a picture from the Atlas trailer. Very easy to understand, right? There's nothing crazy about it. Um, they essentially just grabbed the picture from the trailer and then they put, put this text on top of it. If I had one more chance, I know exactly when I would go. I'd live the life I lost. Now, technically speaking, this is Atlas, right? Because uh, Atlas, uh, for what I can understand, he can no longer go back into his future. Or, technically speaking, his the place where he was before he came back into the past. Because it's been completely shifted. It's been completely changed. Which also, by the way, there's a whole theory uh, that I had about the entire time traveling thing that I already posted on other videos, but I might come, up, come back to it in another future video uh, explaining how uh, there's actually this massive theory I have that um, I, I'd rather just explain it on the video. Let's not drag that too long. I'll, I'll just explain when that video comes out. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So... So essentially, uh, Atlas can't go back and, you know, he said, if I had the chance, I know where I would want to go, right? Since he can't even go back into the life that he already lived, um, unless he's actually trying to say that if he had the chance, he would go back into that future that was now gone to try to live the life that he lost, right? Because if you remember correctly, one of the cards of Atlas, you can actually go there and check. Uh, it shows him with a little girl, which a lot of people theorize that it's actually his daughter. And that picture is here. So as you can see, some people even have a theory that this could be Octavia based on how she has her hair. Now, I don't really believe that. But then again, the card does say live unlived. So I believe he either had a child or... You know, he maybe had a significant other which he wanted to have a life with, but then the entire darkness attacked, and therefore he didn't get to, to live it, right? This did never even got to happen. Now, calm down. Also, since I'm here, just a little thing. This here, uh, this actually is a little bit of a teaser, like a little bit of an Easter egg here. This is a callback to Terminator. Uh, if you guys ever noticed how on the movies of the Terminator where he goes back in time... They come back in a bubble and they're always in this superhero landing pose. This is exactly a callback all the way to that. All right, but enough about that. So we have that information, right? This is from his trailer. So we know that this is about Atlas. Does this mean that Atlas is going to be receiving some sort of an event or something? No. So earlier today, I think Cryptek uh, explained that um, this is more just like a just a little way to, to, you know, to justify what's going to happen. So, let's get through the rest of the teasers and the little secrets. We see this text here, which obviously is the cipher. Uh, and in order to translate this, I'm almost certain that this is one of those ciphers where you have to like put a number and it shifts the letters to the next. Imagine if you put the letter number three, it shifts each letter three letters to the front meaning that it could change the entire sentence and you get a sentence. Now, I would do it, but honestly, somebody else apparently got it. Um, and they typed this, and this is what it's in there. Live a life before the emergence, before the darkness. And then here we see live a life unlived. So, again, the card that I mentioned. Um, uh, you know, like some way, this is to tell us that that's a cipher. The future he has seen, the past he has traveled, moving forward sometimes involves going back. Now... Unless he's actually planning on going even further back and trying to change everything from even the fact that Yago got into our realm or planet, then I don't really know what this means. But if we keep going, we will find some more information. Um, 
So on the second teaser, they put another picture, obviously, and then they type the following. This realm now can fight for itself. My duty fulfilled, I must look to my own future. Perhaps it belongs in the past. So, maybe, since he can't live in the future anymore because, you know, he can't really travel into something that hasn't happened yet, but he did, you know, when what he did is he traveled into the past, something that has already happened, so he rewinded the clock, but he can't speed up the clock. So, like, he's since that future has not been changed, it doesn't exist anymore, he can't teleport into the future, but he can teleport into the past. If he goes into the past and lives his life there without making any significant changes, then maybe, just maybe, he actually can just live the rest of his life, the one that he can still live, but in the past. And why am I saying that? Because if you look into the picture, you'll see that the moon is complete. The moon hasn't been shattered. So this there's only one possible way. And this means that, you know, Atlas has to go back into the past before the moon was shattered and live a life there, far away from everyone that exists on the current present. So, there we go. Some people have already theorized that, you know, about all this card all the time, but now we actually have a little bit of a something here. Now, here's the thing. Now, they're not really going to do an event with this. Instead, they use this to justify what's happening next. Um, the text here is actually obviously another cipher. This time it's actually ciphered with a key. And since we know that the an, an adversary, the you know, the fifth year of Paladins being released is coming up, I decided to test out the word anivers uh, anivers anniversary. Anniversary. Sorry. And this came up to be this. A foreign a forest enchanted of templed ruined before it all began. Further just solidifying the entire idea that I just gave you. So that is actually correct. Now, you're probably thinking, Forest Enchanted Temple Room, what does that mean? So here's my theory. I think what they're hinting is here, is that we're gonna have the Alpha Maps of Paladins back. And you're probably thinking, why? How, how would I get that? If you go down to Paladins Wiki and you search for Forest Enchanted, you will, you will find this and this here is a little bit of a callback to the alpha time um old siege see like this old siege you could probably have never seen it but i'll explain it to you and show it to you a little bit in, the, in, the, in just a second here but the old map called enchanted forest was actually multiple different maps that we know right now like timber mill fish market and probably another one that just never made the cut essentially it was one big map like this where both teams would have their own spawns. This would be one spawn, this would be another spawn. And on contrary to our current siege, there was only one point on our siege, but this one had three. And what happens is, randomly one of them would activate. So then you would have to go there and fight for the control of that point. If you won that point, a payload with a cannon would, you know, would just appear, would spawn under your team's leadership. Now, if you guys remember correctly, a while ago, we had a mode which was payload, but the payload was different. It was siege, sorry, it was siege, but the payload was different, which it was actually cannon, um, that you would have to destroy, and the team could then rebuild it by standing on some points. That's the cannon we're talking about here. Why was it a cannon, though? As you can see here, there's multiple different pathways. These pathways were actually pathways for the payload to then to go through until they reached this section here. And here, they, it would face a gate. This gate could then be destroyed by the same siege itself, like that payload itself. And the the team that captured the, the, the objective of this team was actually to protect this payload and allow it to move forward stop the enemies from destroying it because it was destroyed it was you know you could destroy it and just essentially make it destroy all the three different gates that, that were there on the enemy's side uh obviously this is the spawn of the enemies so they could just be around these areas and destroy the payload and protect their gates obviously um but then after it destroyed another point would become active and they would have to move over to that point and then just do that again uh back then you would have an actual keybind for remounting uh i think they later on created something called a beacon so you could teleport to 
but essentially it was a complete different mode and I'm going to show it to you in just a second. But there's even more information that actually solidifies this idea even further. And that is actually this teaser here that came out today, May 31st. And on this teaser here, we can see this is actually the Serpent Beach map. Okay, if you haven't noticed it, the little serpent there in, you know, it's a night map. And so it's really easy to identify. But in this map, in this little teaser, you see here a little light. It's almost like a teleportation is happening. And what are we going to? The old siege map. Now, I had this conversation here on Twitter. I even put some, some comments down here. And somebody actually went there and said, no, no, that is not alpha paladins old siege no no that is just old serpent beach however a little annoying as i can be i decided i'm gonna i'm gonna prove this is wrong so i went into all the way to six years ago where there was a trailer showing this map to be introduced and to the closed beta of paladins and you can see here this is like most of the big differences there were but there is still that building over there that you can spot from this area here, right? And if I go even further, I think I can play this here a little bit more into the front. It will show us the map. You can see here that this section is still pretty much the same. Only this was a bit different. You know, they filled up this area. They made just one stairway that way and then just like a little pathway. Here, we could see... Uh, which I don't know why they're actually showing this here, but this is actually Jaguar Falls. Um, so, Temple Isle? What's going on? Oh, okay, okay, sorry. I understand now. My bad. Uh, so, these maps actually shared a little bit of a cool thing, which is when you played on this map, and if you look down there, you could see the other map, Serpent Beach. And if you played on Serpent Beach and you looked up, you could see the Jaguar Falls. Uh, over time with reworks and etc. a lot changed. Um, and I believe that maybe back when it was released initially, you'd this would still be one of those old Siege maps and then they separated them. I don't really understand what happened because I wasn't that a part of the, the community back then. But as you can see here, this here, you see this building here, right? Now, if you look into this picture, you can see clearly that there's that building does not exist there. So, I know 100% that is not true. In fact, I've even seen a video of a gameplay of Old Siege that it had this little hurricane here. I don't know if this actually works as a jump pad, but I remember seeing a pip fighting here and having the entire system of cards where we would have to buy them as upgrades that has nothing to do with the current system that we have. So, this could never in a million years be the pre-reworked Serpent Beach. The pre reworked Serpent Beach only changed the sides a little bit and it became night. That's it. That was it. And here we can see sort of how the mode works. This is actually by EGN. I don't know how you guys call it. This is not actually the one that I'm talking about, the map that I'm talking about. But as you can see here, three gates on each side and they're fighting for control of a point, as you can see here, saying capture. And whoever captures it will then be able to get a payload that will spawn. And now it's there. Escort. And actually, this might be it. I think this might be it. This was pre... Yeah, it, it, it does look like it. Yeah. I think they changed this entire thing to look a little bit more on the desert side. This could be potentially the exact same map we're talking about here. Well, interesting. But then, continuing on, you then escort the payload all the way to the enemy side. As you see there, it's already taking some damage. And obviously, uh, you have to fight to protect the payload. I don't know if you could heal it. I know you could remount as much as you wanted back then, obviously. Um, you could see it even there. It had like a timer cooldown, which this is something I, I specifically uh, suggested to hirers to do since they wanted to put the remount into every mode at least have that internal cooldown so people couldn't spam it but i guess it was easier to just remove it i don't know and here we see that they're fighting over the castle or the spawn whatever you want to call it and they failed at that so locating so many portals so a new portal a new location will be active and now they have to go there and fight for that control to get another payload so the first team to destroy the three 
gates would win. And as you can see here, this red one here is already a little gray there. That means that it already took damage. So essentially, yes, we might be getting Alpha Paladins back. Now, I could talk about data mine, and I know people who are going to talk about data mine. I did hear that there was some references in there uh, to these maps. I will really refrain from, you know, from suggesting looking into it if you really want to be surprised. Um, just like me. I, I heard about it, but I decided I don't want to go in there and check. Uh, if it is true or not, I don't care. Um, data mine, is, I've always been... You know, when I started doing uh, content creation for Paladins, uh, part of my content was talking about data mine. But over time, I saw that the best surprises and the one that were, you know, greeted better and actually was were way more interesting were the ones that were never mentioned on on the, on the data mines. In fact, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what data mine does good for anything. If anything, it's just, you know, it might create a little bit of hype. But it also might create false hype. Okay, because imagine that in Data Mind they did say Alpha Paladins is coming back, they're bringing out the old siege mode or whatever. And then it happens that they had to cancel it, and because they never confirmed anything, they just, you know, they scrapped the project, they scrapped just the project away. And then people just like, oh, but Data Mind said it. Yeah. I guess not. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um,. These are the teasers that are out right now, the three teasers. Uh, and it makes a lot of sense that it is what I'm saying here because of this entire living the life on lift. If it goes back into a further pass, as long as it doesn't change anything massive, right? Is if he knows how the pass worked and he just le leaves it to be exactly as it is, um, he will be able to live his life still, the one that he deserves. Although there's only one question that I don't know and I don't understand which is how did he get his hand back? Because the picture does show that he has both hands back. So unless one of them is a prototype, I don't really think that it could be 100% this, but I'm very, very inclined to believe that it is true. All right, but either way, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much it for the uh, teasers of Paladins. My theory as to what is coming next onto Paladins. So again, let me know down in the comments below if you agree or not. And also let me know down in the comments below what your theory is. I'm very curious. Let me know. Bye-bye.